Okay, start. Thank you, Shatrupati. On behalf of Bethune College, I welcome you all to the inauguration program of the Human Rights Cell, organized in collaboration with IQSC. As the first women's college in Asia, Bethune College is one of the pioneer institutions committed to the cause of human rights. The recognition of the inherent dignity and equality of all human beings is also reflected in our college emblem, which, if you have noticed, contains three glowing lamps representing knowledge, humanity, and transparency. So the establishment of this formal or the formal establishment of this human rights cell is a very special occasion for all of us. And we are very glad to have with us today our beloved principal madam, Professor Krishna Roy, who will flag off the journey of this cell. I request Professor Shuparna Shingupta, convener of the Human Rights Cell, to deliver the welcome address and a brief introduction to the Human Rights Cell. <laughs> Am I audible? Should I that say? Yes, you are audible. Thank you, ma'am. Respected principal madam, Dr. Professor Krishna Roy, TCS madam, Dr. Omita Kaur, IQSC coordinator, Dr. Kamal Kanti Shoru, all my committee members, dear colleagues, and beloved students. Today, on behalf of the Human Rights Cell Veteran College, I want to welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of the Human Rights Cell Veteran College. At the very outset, I must tell you that it is our principal manner, Dr. Professor Krishna Rao, who has given us the idea and inspiration to set up such a cell. It is able leadership and guidance. That has given us the purpose of this cell is to focus on the issue of human rights and spread awareness among our students regarding something and in rights they are entitled to enjoy in different ways. That these are inalienable to which a person is inherently entitled simply because he or she is a human. These rights are to be enjoyed by all human beings, irrespective of their caste, class, religion, race, gender, language, or ethnicity. They are applicable everywhere, at every time, in the sense of being universal, and they are egalitarian in the sense of being the same for Our aim is not only to make our students aware of their rights, but also on the issues and areas where such rights have been or are being violated. We also seek to provide information about the human rights movement and activists from all over the world. To meet our purposes, we propose to launch a human rights watchboard online. This watchboard will contain a variety of contributions related to the issue of human rights from the students of different departments. They will be invited to send us their thought, knowledge, and reflections on the subject in the form of photographs, drawings, posters, write-ups, and bio notes of human rights activists. We will keep on updating this watchboard on a bi-monthly basis so that new ideas and information keep coming in. The sale also proposes to organize students' webinars and seek to conduct outreach programs to reach out to victims of human rights violations in collaboration with 
from existing committees like the backward cell and the ACs. The cell also proposes <coughs> to observe international human rights state through online article competition, online quizzes, and online poster and photograph competitions. All these activities, we hope, will not only benefit our students in the form of providing them with more knowledge and information, but will also enrich us, the teachers, with the opportunity to establish a mental connect with our students and their thought process. I personally think that our students have lots of potential and will surprise us with their new views, ideas, and perspectives. On such a positive note, I once again welcome you all to our program today. Thank you. Thank you, Shuparnadi. I now invite our beloved principal madam and chairperson of the human rights cell, Professor Krishna Roy, to deliver the inaugural address. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Nilanjana, for very brief introduction and thank you Shuparna, Shuparna for elaborating the objectives of this cell. So good evening everyone. And uh, today I think is a red letter day in the history of Bethune College, 142 years of old Bethune College because formally this human rights cell is being um, implemented. And uh, no doubt it will help our students to have their rights uh, and all the activities associated with this human rights sense. Now, for the inaugural address, I don't know what to say and how to say, and I'm not an expert in this field. And so far, I know the subject uh, as a text is being taught to the students of history or political science or women's studies. But I, from my experience uh, in the education field and as well as as a uh, responsible citizen, as an alert citizen, what I believe uh, as human rights, especially rights for women, I can share with you all the ideas I have with me and will try to imbibe within you all these ideas which I have been inculcated to the through these long years of my life. So um, what is human right? You, you know, all of you are aware of the rights, uh, not all the components of the rights, but what is human rights? And who the basic question is, who are human? Uh, from, a, from the biological point of view, human are member of homo sapiens maybe man, woman, transgender, child, or any person. Then what are the rights? Rights are the things which we are entitled or allowed, freedoms that we are guaranteed. And what are the human rights? The rights we have simply because we are human. In short, human rights are those rights that a person has simply because he or she is a human being. And the basic thing is, uh, we do not uh, buy it, it cannot be earned, or it cannot be inherited. It belongs simply to us because we are human beings, and human rights are inherent. It is inherent to each and every individual. And it cannot be taken away. No one has the right to deprive any person of this right for any reason. Now, uh, with this very brief introduction about human rights, I, I will show you uh, some of the some of the figures or some of the uh, photographs. But before that, uh, I must say that in the history of Bethune College, I do not know. Uh, in fact, for the last few years whether uh, there have been any kind of feedback taking system uh, with the students 
all the students for all UG courses, all PG courses with the faculty members, with the non-teaching uh, staff members. And what I came to know that there are many issues which are not, uh, which are not uh, heard usually. So these unheard voices, these unheard issues are to be uh, addressed with due uh, recognition and human rights cell, I think it has two parts. One, actually it has two parts. One is human rights education, what uh, Shuparna Madam has beautifully explained, uh, awareness about human rights. And the second thing is uh, the activities of the human rights cells, not merely the knowledge of human rights, but also uh, its application in our life I know that our students have done a much during uh, uh, for the COVID victims, and they have done from supply of oxygen or uh, bed and all these things. So these also uh, fall under the penumbra of human rights. So uh, I would like to share uh, my slides with you. Uh, Uh, can you see the slide? Disha Das, kindly switch off your audio. Dia Hyatt, kindly switch off your audio. Uh, I can find the sharing option right now. Uh, should I go out and then join again? That will be better yeah. for me. Um, there is an option called share screen. I don't, I don't find that share screen. I don't find that share screen in my uh, computer. That is why. Uh, Ma'am, just move the mouse a little. Ma'am, please move the mouse a little. Or if you're using a laptop, yes, I'm using just touch the, ta touch the ta uh, touchpad once. That bar should come at the end of your screen. I don't want the, the bar connection. right now. That is why the problem is. Um, just now, if you need to I think uh, I should uh, I should leave and then join again. Mm -hmm. Then I, I can see. For an up kindly to escape button tag, but tip on the full screen. Hoga someone. Ha ha. Hota pare. Escape button. Escape button. Ma'am, at the keyboard, top right is a button tap, top left. I don't know. 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 I So while ma'am is taking time to uh, get this ready, students, I don't know, after doing so many webinars online, how can you still be having your audio uh, on? Good 
Uh, so am I audible? Hello? Yes, ma'am. You are audible now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Why is this broken? This entire screen is broken. I cannot see the screen totally. That is why I am not finding the share screen option. The entire screen is broken. Okay, now I'm sharing the screen and uh, Yes, ma'am, the presentation is visible now. It's perfectly visible. Not visible to me, that is the problem. Yes, ma'am. It is oh. not visible to me, so I, I can <laughs> show you. It's, I cannot see the screen, that's the problem. Okay. Ma'am, you can just shift to the para to the next to the uh, to the simultaneous tab. Just just okay. open the PPT. Madam, आपने एक तो जस्ट टक करे वो जो दांती के ऊपर देखो ना view बोले एक ता option है। हमारे laptop पे वो ये आगे कुछ आठ के आची शेज़ जो ठीक आचे। अम्मी देखा ची ता पूरा उल्टे गया ची दी को दी उल्टे गया ची। अम्मी मैंने स्लाइड शो ऑप्शन टाइ देखते बच्ची ना किताई समस्या बच्चे फुल स्क्रीन कॉर्डा अच्छी भी जहाँ वही है कि स्लाइड शो ऑप्शन टाइ देखते बच्चे स्लाइड टाइ ऊपर डबल क्लिक करे देखूँ डबल क्लिक तो कोर्ची किंतु अभी स्लाइड शो ऑप्शन टाइ आ इमोटे देखते बच्चे ना कि एक ता कंप्यूटर की समस्या हो गई है डबल क्लिक कर मैं 
কিন্তু স্লাইড শো অপশনটা না থাকলে ফুল স্ক্রিনটা দেখা যাবে না এটাই সমস্যা ম্যাডাম টপে যে বলছে আমাদের একজন স্টুডেন্ট বলছে যে এটা ট্রাই করতে একবার ম্যাম এডুকেশন it has some objectives already has uh, elaborated by shuparna then human rights cells it has its own objectives then uh, there should be i think a logo for college human rights cell uh, i have seen many of the colleges they have designed their own logo and there should be a motto of this human rights cell you can design your own motto but uh, i can suggest one voice for human rights culture why i have uh, written the uh, human rights culture because human rights uh, this vary according to the time span according to the society or environment so the culture is always associated with human rights and why i have written the i uh, thought about the motto of human rights culture because already i have told you that when i took the feedback from the students regarding their agonies regarding their problems various academic issues and other issues they have some right but these rights i think were denied so far they did not raise their voice so motto of our human rights cell should be a voice for human rights culture and its composition not only the teachers or faculty members they should have student representatives and non teaching members and yearly plan there are uh, there should be yearly plan i i, I uh, heard from uh, dr shuparna that uh, there should be poster or essay competition and all other things but uh, it it should be a regular practice or regular activities and at least four days may be observed throughout the year which is usually done by other colleges especially colleges of south india one is no doubt human rights day in december uh, the second is march day that is 30th january the very day when mahatma gandhi died the third is uh, birthday of baba saheb ambedkar 14th of april and the last one is 3rd of january this is the birthday of shabitri bai phule phule the first omen teacher who belong to a dalit community so this way they observe the human rights cells activities and various programs are launched now human rights we have already explained we should have initial concept of this human rights and uh, i know that uh, all the students of humanities department they know about universal declaration of human rights but for the science students this is not usually uh, apart from environmental studies section this is not usually taught but i will focus more on uh, rights of women human rights already discussed it is universal inalienable alienable or অবিচ্ছেদ্য একে ভাঙা যায় না কারোর সঙ্গে ইন্ডিভিজিবল একবারে অবিচ্ছেদ্য সব সব অধিকার আমাদের থাকার দরকার অ্যান্ড দিস রাইটস নো ডাউট উইল এম্পাওয়ার ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালস অ্যান্ড প্রমোট দেয়ার জাস্টিস অ্যান্ড ওয়েলবিং অধিকারের জন্য লড়াই করতে গেলে আগে অধিকারের সীমারেখাটা জেনে নিতে হয় নাও দিস ইজ দা পিকচার অফ দা সাইরাস 
the great he was a persian king in 530 bc uh, after conquering the city of babylon he did something which is quite unexpected he freed all slaves to return home samusto das did tini mukto kore diyechilen moreover he was a very kind hearted person and uh, he was very uh, very affectionate to his people she you know he declared that people should choose their own religion dharme bhittite to onek kichu adhikarer jaygay ashe and he uh, he prepared a clay tablet containing his statements and which is considered as the first human rights declaration in history this is the uh, picture of uh, cyrus uh, this uh cider cylinder it is called cider cylinder and it was discovered uh in 1879 why i have marked it as date because the same year our college was founded so this way for for cider cylinder and our college has some relation ate bethun college asia er prothom college tar shonge manobadhikarer ekta somporko kintu roye geche it was discovered in the ruins of babylon in mesopotamia this is a remnant part now the evolution of this human resource if we consider the evolution tar kibhabe tar uttaron hoyeche of course there should be a source dharmer bhittite onek adhikar hoyeche amader deshe monosmriti dekhi dharmer bhittite manusher ki kora uchit ta kora uchit bola political and legal philosophies are there and there are some documents which are found in the historical uh, statements magna carta tradition of rights bill of rights french declaration of rights of man american bill of rights russian revolution constitution of germany republic spain so all these documents are in favor of this uh, development of human rights and quite likely the great thinkers are associated we find name of john law or rousseau or thomas paine or karl marx and many other now if human rights are violated it is indeed the dark side of human civilization and we always find violation of human rights e je kichu din age ekta ghotona ghotlo people were vaccinated and with all fake vaccine this is contrary to human rights so according to richard rorty this is very important american philosopher with life span 1931 to 2007 human rights are based on particular culture known as human rights culture that is why i have suggested our motto should be uh, voice against human uh, voice for human rights culture এখানে আমার একটা ছোট্ট অভিজ্ঞতার কথা বলছি বহু বছর আগে সেখানে আমার বাড়িতে যে মেয়ে ছিল সি বিলং টু লো কাস্ট সিস্টেম তো রোজই বলতো আমার বর আমাকে মেরেছে এই করেছে তাই আমি রোজ তোমার বর মারে তোমায় তুমি প্রতিবাদ করো না সে তখন নিজস্ব বাচন ভঙ্গিতে বললো চেষ্টা করলো বর যখন সে তো তার পেটানোর হক আছে তাহলে তার বরের হিউম্যান রাইটস বলছে আমার বউকে পেটানোর অধিকার আছে এটা কিন্তু কাজে আসছে না এর পরে আমি আসবো রাইটস অ্যান্ড ল এর মধ্যে কি তফাত সো ইন এনশিয়েন্ট ইন্ডিয়া ইন্ডিয়ান কনসেপ্ট অফ হিউম্যান রাইটস অ্যান্ড হিউম্যানিটেরিয়ান লস আর বেসড অন যা কিছু দেখছি যুদ্ধের ক্ষেত্রে মহাভারতে দেখতে পাই কোটিলের অর্থশাস্ত্রে দেখতে পাই মনুস্মৃতিতে দেখতে পাই সেখানে অনেকটাই যুদ্ধের সঙ্গে জড়িত এবং ধর্মের সঙ্গে জড়িত রাজনীতির সঙ্গে জড়িত ইউনিভার্সাল ডিক্লারেশন অফ হিউম্যান রাইটস এটা অনেকেরই জানা ইট ওয়াজ অ্যাডপ্টেড ইন বাই ইউনাইটেড নেশনস অন টেন ডিসেম্বর নাইনটিন in response to the barbarous acts which outraged the conscience of mankind 
মানবতা আর মানব সভ্যতার যে অপমান মানুষকে নিষ্ঠুর ভাবে হত্যা করা দ্বিতীয় বিশ্বযুদ্ধে তারই প্রেক্ষিতে এটা করা হয়েছিল এবং ইউনিভার্সাল ডিক্লারেশন অফ হিউম্যান রাইটস ইউনিভার্সাল ডিক্লারেশন অফ হিউম্যান রাইটস এটা ইউনিভার্সাল অলরেডি বলা হচ্ছে কাস ফ্রিড কিচ্ছু মানা হবে না সবার জন্য এক It was the first international agreement on the basic principles of human rights and its adoption recognized human rights to be the foundation for freedom, justice and peace. You may ask me, why have I have put this red mark and two asterisks? Actually, while I was preparing this slide, I suddenly I remembered a novel I read. Uh, I read in my childhood days, that was Uncle Tom's Cabin. It's a beautiful novel written by American writer, Harriet Beecher Stowe. And this novel was written in 1852. America is a very good thing. So, it's a very good thing that the Bible is sold in 1852. 1852 गृहजुद्ध बाधिए दी so there are three generations of human rights it was developed uh, uh, gradually the first generation rights were based on political and civil aspects these are called fundamental rights second generation rights are social and economic rights these are also considered as directive principles of state policy and third generation rights right of self determination and right against dis discrimination মানে তৃতীয় যে তৃতীয় জেনারেশনের যে রাইট গুলো সেটা কিন্তু একেবারেই পার্সোনাল লেভেলে ব্যক্তি কেন্দ্রিক আমি কাকে বিয়ে করব আমি কার সঙ্গে মিশব আমার সন্তান থাকবে কিনা এই সব অধিকার কিন্তু পার্সোনাল রাইটস এর মধ্যে পড়ে হিউম্যান রাইটস এর থার্টি স্টেটমেন্টস আছে থার্টি বেসিক হিউম্যান রাইটস আছে এর মধ্যে যেগুলো আমার আজকের আলোচনার জন্য দরকার আমি সেগুলোই কয়েকটি উল্লেখ করেছি All human beings are free and equal. No discrimination. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms. Right to life has a right to life, liberty, security, no slavery, no torture and inhuman treatment. Same right to use law, equal before law, right to be treated fairly by court, right to education, rights to marry and have family, right to social security, freedom of thought and religion and human rights cannot be taken away this is the basic principle now human rights this is in fact some principles but if uh, this uh, if you do not follow these rights uh, it is uh, not that you will be punished for that that is why human rights cannot be protected in societies without a strong rule of law and that is why constitution is prepared the rule of law is the implementation mechanism for human rights turning them from a principle into reality that is why each and every country has its own constitution now uh, for human rights number 3 everyone has the right to life liberty and security of person rule of unborn child this is very important i have already mentioned that i will restrict my discussion regarding women rights so the very first thing is female feticide and infant infanticide the second is dowry death and the third is honor killing female feticide it means killing the female fetus in the mother's womb now what is that what is meant by the term fetus in biological term uh, just after fertilization of egg, uh, ovum and sperm, a new life is formed that is called zygote. And after eight weeks, that means after two months, this fertilized uh, ovum or zygote or converted zygote is called embryo. Beyond eight weeks, that is 
just after two months and kill the full term, the uh, the uh, the content in the mother's womb or the life in the mother's womb is designated as fetus. So feticide means killing of female fetus in the mother's womb. And this practice has been followed in India for many ages. It's a country once described this woman as goddesses. Amra boli beti bachao, beti padao, save the girl child, save the nation. These are all uh, nonsense. Faka awaj. Causes for feticide. The first thing is obsession for boy child. Religious dogma. Putra thik piyote bhajja. Bohu anbo kano chali hai jati. Ebang put namok narup thikhe jye koi tran kodbe. Practice of culture. Chali hole vishon anandu utsha. Me hole noy. Fear for dowry trap. Financial obligations. Onik bachur aage, this is my personal experience. I was studying BA under Barwan University. One of my batchmates said, um, uh, are you employed? I know I have just finished my PhD work. She said, I have to get a job. And can you? I said, I have to get a job. 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 I have to Bullo hai. She got to watch for Agi, Trini Dakashi made him non move Amarakno Muniachi. So fear for dowdy truck, this is a financial obligation. And determination of sex of unborn child through new technology, data camera bully amniocentesis, uh, amniotic fluid, that is the fluid in which the embryo is kept inside the mother's womb. Tartic is sex determination college. This is the advanced technology. Akunjodi at a bond through. Kintu female fit a disasters, Jikarone Mira Kunna Shantan John Mudir, Shitakirakum Hall. Women bearing girl babies continue to be treated with disdain in several Indian states, despite billions having been spent on launching campaigns to generate awareness about the fair sex. Koto Taka Koruch Parachi Kunna Si Hutchi, um, PMA Betty Bacha, Vidi Pora Hutchi. Uh, Indira Gandhi singing girl child program as a photo piazzi. In the Kaneda Kaja, women may kill her girl child, she herself kills her girl child, or she may be killed, the woman may be killed by her husband or in laws. The situation arises why? Because of ignorance about the biological system and not giving due credit for girl child. এখন মেয়ে জন্ম হবে কিনা সেটা তো দিন ভর করবে কোন ক্রোমোজোমটা আসছে এক্স এক্স ক্রোমোজোম এক্স ক্রোমোজোম দেয় একটি মা আর একটি বাবা আর যদি ছেলে হয় এক্স ক্রোমোজোম দেবে মা আর ওয়াই ক্রোমোজোম দেবে বাবা তাহলে বাবা যদি এক্স না দিয়ে ওয়াই দেয় তাহলেই ছেলে হবে তা সেক্ষেত্রে তো মায়ের কোনো ভূমিকা নেই তা ডিউ টু ইগনোরেন্স সেই জন্য কি করা হয় এমপিতে দেখা গেছে একটি इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट This beautiful girl, uh, she killed this girl with kitchen knife. So this is the tragedy for our cultures. So what will happen? Uh, this will uh, change the uh, ratio proportion of boys, uh, man and woman. This is the figure. If it is one is to two in 2007, it will become uh, three is to one and 2031, it becomes one out of one out of eight. So this way, there will be skewed pro uh, population, uh, threat of skewed sex proportion in population, and this expanding ir irregularity in males and females in prompting numerous violations, for example, illicit trafficking of ladies, rapes, polygamy, and new dehumanization of the society. So 
For female feticide, there is a law. It was established in 1994. It is called PCPNDT, Preconception and Prenatal Diagnostic Techniques Act, and punish prenatal sex screening and female feticide. It is there, but uh, we can deny. And in the uh, clinics, different clinics, it is the motto of some person. If I spend 5,000 today, we can save more than 50 lakhs in future. Uh, these are the unborn baby. So do they have the right to be born? Ekhane akta odhut jinish amade society te aache je uh, article 21 we have everyone has a right to live uh, kintu a unborn child er koto ta odhikar ache seta niye kintu ain kichu bole na tamon kore onnanno onek deshe ache kintu india te eta hoyni othocho this unborn children there especially boy emrao jodi boy hoy kothay bolchi ami te janchi na age tahole kintu tar property te Odhikara, property rights such. It act a good genish. Unano Bohu deshe, unborn child right established to each into Amade deshe, Akumi, Jaga, law, Purishka noy. Ekatre, Onikunje to Potavata Hulu, Ami to change a juno. Akta Utubudishi at the Loko Gani Potabulchi, Ganta Chirapum, Provuji Matheri Binti Karu, Pai Paru Bar Bar, Ugly Jana Mohibitia Nadiji, Nadek Biji Chahi. For a journey, may the owner nor of the oak. When a Nari John made to the key of Shaman no actor, Rina Richardon. Akun, aged Chotoshito Bachara, my Corpi Ruichi. Judy female feticide for a hoy. Shiki Koshto pie. Biologically, embryologically, it a embryologist jara, Tara Bolchin. J after twenty weeks, twenty weeks money. Try Pachmashi or Tiki into she unborn fetus. He or she can uh, feel the pain. Ati Takiju the forced day about Barkuri Anahoi, Bamiri Fellahoi, or no chemical day, drug day, shake into Shita, Unhop Kutipai. Akun, I mean, it took any onikun Prussian Batani Bala Hutsubil to change a journey, would she? She tells she. আমরা কল্পনা করি নি না যে মায়ের গর্ভে তো একটা মাতৃ গর্ভ একদম অন্ধকার পিচ ডার্ক কোনো তো আলো নেই সেখানে একটি শিশু রয়েছে নড়াচড়া অল্প অল্প করছে ফ্লুইড ইজ देयर অ্যামনিয়াটিক ফ্লুইড এখন সে তাকে মেরে ফেলা হবে মনে করা যাক শিশুটি টের পাচ্ছে যে তাকে মেরে ফেলা হবে সেই শিশুটি কি অনুভব করে আমরা কি জানি একটা ছোট কবিতার মধ্যে দিয়ে she অজাত শিশুর কষ্টটা বলছি যাতে এখানে আমার অনেক ছাত্রী আছে যারা অনুভব করতে পারবে যে কন্যা সন্তান যে সন্তানই হোক সেটা প্রার্থিত এবং তাকে হত্যা করা একেবারেই উচিত না কবিতাটা এরকম কবিতাটা বলার জন্য আমার স্লাইড শেয়ার না করে মুখ দেখালি ভালো হতো কিন্তু আমি ভয় পাচ্ছি আবার এটাকে বন্ধ করলে আবার সেটা চলে যাবে যাই হোক কবিতাটা আমি স্মৃতি থেকেই বলছি কি অন্ধকার চারদিক জুড়ে একটু নেই হাওয়া মা তুমি শুনছো কান পেতে শোনো আমার একটু চাওয়া আমার স্বপ্ন ডানা ঝাপটানো নিটোল পূর্ণতার কত বিশ্বাসে আঁকড়ে ধরেছি তোমার জঠর দান ফিসফিস করে কথা বলে কারা তোমার আপনজন কি কথা শোনায় বোঝা ঝেড়ে ফেলো শক্ত করো মন পরীক্ষা করে চিনে গেছে ওরা গর্ভের শিশুটিকে ছেলে নয় ওটা মি সন্তান কি লাভ টিকে রেখে তোমার কষ্ট আমি বুঝি মাগো আমিও যে এক মেয়ে পায়ে তলা নরম মাটিতে কি দেখছো তুমি চে পরজীবী হয়ে বাঁচতে শিখেছো সেটাই জেনেছো মানে ঘর কন্যায় ঝাঁটা লাথি থাক একা বাঁচা অপমানে আমাকে বাঁচাতে নাই বা পারলে সবাই কি সব পারি মাথা নিচু করে উদয় অস্ত সংসার যারা ধরে ভীত মেয়েরাও গোপনে জানো মা প্রতিবাদী হয় কত পূজোর আসরে শেখানো মন্ত্র বলে যে নিজের মত তুমিও বলো না আর কোনোদিন মাগো পুত্রাম দেহি নিজেকে শেখাও সেই জপমালা অবলা সে নহি নহি 
তোমার জঠরে জল্লাদ হানা মৃত্য গন্ধ ভাসে কষ্ট পাচ্ছ তবু সহিছ ভাবি পুত্রের আসে আমরণ যা ছাত্র ছায়ায় বাঁচবে সগৌ রবে মেয়ে সন্তান কত না খরচ তবু তো পর হবে তারই জন্য দুচোখের জল শেষ কবে পড়েছিল ঠাকমা বলো না না হয় ভাব না সত্যি কি এসেছিল অনাগত সেই শিশুটির ডাক শুধুই স্বপ্ন কথা অনুভূতিহীন জড়পিণ্ডটি ফায় নাকি কোনো ব্যথা হাওয়া থেমে গেছে সুরঙ্গ পথে তীক্ষ্ণ শলাকা নাচে মহাসমরের ফাঁদে পড়ে গিয়ে এইটুকু প্রাণ বাঁচে তবু তুমি মাগো হয়ে যাবে রোজ অফুরান লাঞ্ছনা ইচ্ছে কোঠারে শান দিয়ে আজ নত শীত তুলবে না তোমার শরীর উপরে যারা পুত্র পাওয়ার সুখে তোমার কষ্ট দুঃখ অশ্রু রক্তেতে ভেজা মুখে মমতা ছুড়েনি কোনো দিন যারা ভালোবাসাহীন ঘরে নষ্ট সে ঘরে সে কর তোমার ছড়াতে কেমন করে হিম হিম শীতে তীব্র খরায় সে কর সুখে যদি মায়া গাছ খানি বাঁচাবে ভেবেছ ভাসিয়ে অশ্রু নদী অজাত তোমার কন্যা শিশুটি প্রতিদিন তবু ভাবে দুঃখী জননী খুঁজবে নিজেকে অধিকার উৎসবে মা তুমি শুনছো কাঁদছি না আমি হৃদয় মেখেছি ঘৃণা রাঙা চলে ভাসি ছিন্ন কুসু নির্বা ক্ষমাহীনা মা ভেবেছিল অধিকার উৎসবে তাকে কেউ খুঁজবে কেউ খোঁজে না dowry harassment and dowry death we find through different modes and the woman may be killed by different modes there are social statistics irrespective of socio economic background dowry death offers and there is law 1961 anti dowry act is there social and women activities are very active still the uh, practice is going on the this point is honor killing or shame killing it is a murder of an individual by outsider or a member of the family it is usually found in case of marriage system if for the caste system in between upper and lower caste marriage and this honor killings are believed to have originated from tribal customs but it is very interesting why if shame is a social experience why are girls and women agents of shame why not boys or why not men so honor killing violates in uh, our constitution article 14 15 1 3 19 21 39 and in the, in village area there is role of cop panchayat and they determine everything there are eight actual punishments state of honor killing is found in case of pakistan uh, 1000 out of 5000 per year in total now i'm coming to uh, up to this which this was right to life now the right to die dignified death uh, we know about euthanasia good re- good death mercy killing pipamrittu it's uh, it's a practice onek din thore ache ebong administration of lethal dose of sedatives or drugs it may be voluntary it may be involuntary it may be physician assisted that is why it may be active or aggressive killing a patient by active means injecting a drug with lethal dose or passive letting out uh, or withholding life support artificial life support such as ventilator or feeding tube but in our country uh, since march 2018 passive euthanasia is legal under strict guidelines and this decision was made as part of verdict in a case of parasi of heard about oruna shanba who had been a persistent vegetative state until her death in 2015 out of pneumonia and this judgment was passed in the wake of pinky virani pinky virani was oruna's friend and she was a journalist and she pleaded for her mercy killing but our our judicial system did not allow it and uh after in in 2018 this bill was passed so right to die in a dignified way uh, and so uh, it is also an intrinsic facet of right to life under article 21 of constitution of india right to have a dignified life that is why if my life is at stake or there is no quality of life so we may die but there is a strange fact why i have 
put this under the women rights section. You see, it's a very strange fact. More women than men may die by AS means assisted suicide by euthanasia. Women choose this assisted suicide or euthanasia for different reasons than men. So the frequency of euthanasia, adopting euthanasia is found in case of women. It is a world, world, uh, throughout the world picture statistics. Why the reason is longer life with low economic resources and unsuccessful career. And the other thing is all human rights are culturally designed. So assisted suicide on this assisted euthanasia because there's a cultural image for women, sacrifice, self-sacrifice. Then reproductive right, it's a very important thing. In one time, uh, the feminists, they raised the voice, my own, my decision, my baby. So there are two reproductive rights issues that have featured prominently in recent public discourse. One is abortion and the other is surrogacy. Uh, abortion constitution right of women allows to make reproductive choice as a part of personal liberty. Ami ragbo, ki ragbo na, shita amar right. Kintu, Shekhane Akta Baparachi, medical termination of pregnancy. She had a nineteen seventy one a Prothum Mehoi, Laguhoi, after revised her in nineteen seventy five. Finally, it is again revised in twenty twenty. Sheketre, Bolahuchi recalled not only on medical risk, other factors so than Muthiachi, even Shetake, stain for a Huchi, upper limit beyond twenty to twenty four weeks. Then, fetal, if there is fetal abnormality, Laws regulating termination, what are those laws? If there is fetal abnormalities or uh, if, there, if the uh, woman is a victim of rape or incestuous relation or the con there is a contraceptive failure uh, and irrespective of marital status. Previously, uh, for abortion, the woman should be married, but here uh, if there, there should be a partner but uh, there is no question of marital status. And here also one special thing is there is protection of privacy. So uh, medical termination of pregnancy is allowed if the life of mother is at stake, if there is social indicators such as failure of contraception, humanitarian if the person is, woman is a victim, and eugenics, that means if there is a, uh, chance of genetically abnormal baby, uh, delivery of genetically abnormal baby. But for this case, Down syndrome is not considered because uh, people have say, seen that Down syndrome babies are very happy. And for this, who are the decision maker? Not you. Medical board should be there. One uh, radiology should be there. One member of state comment is there. Pediatrician and gynecologist. So uh, before 20 weeks, one medical practitioner is required. After 20 weeks, two medical practitioners are Then coming to the last point, surrogacy. Surrogacy is called mothering by proxy. Manglai Boladar Bharatema. It is actually commercialization. In 2020, surrogacy regulation bill is called the surrogacy. Women may have to act as unproductive unpaid reproductive labor. commercialization And the couple seeking surrogacy will have to provide compelling condition. They may have some certain uh, organic defects, uh, not by choice. And the surrogate needs to be married and have a child as some, some procedures of surrogacy may lead to infertility. The surrogate mother hobby, even single woman talk into a right and power. So, ekhane into acta amade human rights ke kichuta deny kora hoche. Single woman holi pete pare para either divorced or widow. Tara pete pare after getting certificate of recommendation from National Surrogacy Board. Now there is a question: If a woman is uh, is a very career woman and she doesn't want to change her career graph. But the bill does not consider the cases where women might not want to go through pregnancy and all these responsibilities. So there is no such rule for them. And in our society, again, the question of culture comes. Joy of bearing one's own child cannot be compared to having one through surrogacy. 
Now the last part is Matilda effect. This is very important. I should mention that when I found the constitution of human rights cell in our college, I found all the members from the humanities department, all the faculty members from the humanities department. Uh, but I should say that there should be a member from science faculty. And this Matilda effect, this is what Matilda Joslin case. Uh, she was uh, a woman suffragist, Native American rights activist, free thinker. Her, her lifespan was 1826 to 1898. Women are women scientists are generally deprived to receive requisite acknowledgement for scientific discoveries. society Sorry, human rights must be included in college's academic calendar in activity Thakauchi. Presentation poster making by students through their real life experiences. Special lecture should be made not by just like by me and novice person, by social activists or lawyers. Camps, field study, community integration, helping people in need on campus or off campus. Amra onik shumai domestic violence se kotha jani, dowry dite kach jani. Amade mera tadir visi niti te jodi kono shamusha tha ki ba me shantan jonmatche bolle shoshu bai te ki nigro kuchhe. Ek tu bojhan aur daito sheta part of human rights cell and yearly report preparation under the guidance of teachers. I've mentioned only five women. There are so many. One is Sabitri Bai Phule, who first initiated women education and coming from a Dalit community. Then Kadumbini Ganguly, who initiated vocational course. Then this is Mary MacLeod Bethun. Uh, she was she born from a slave family and she did a lot for uh, the education of not only uh, general women, but also African American women. And the Malayla Visubjai, a Nobel laureate, a very special lady. And this is uh, Matilda Joslin Gaze. So they are all, uh, I sh we should always pay tribute to them. And uh, we, we, uh, we talk about human rights all the time, but history, tradition, policy, legal system, all these are changing. And these are all related to our culture and everything is committed to make the human rights. So human rights, there are, there are universal declaration of human rights, but the rights are not always followed if constitution uh, does not permit us. And the, our students have made a very beautiful uh, magazine, web, magazine, web journal, name is Jagdithi, Vishon Shundo Nam, Awareness, but I was so unhappy to find not a single article is written in Bengali. And that is why Amit Hunnubatta Banglai Janachi. This is all for me. And I hope I have not told you much. Thank you, ma'am, for an immensely enriching and captivating address. Uh, she took us on a fascinating journey into the history of human rights and the violation of human rights in various at various times in various spaces, and we and and a, a wonderful touch was the was the felicitous connection with the establishment of our college, and ma'am, we were all touched by your profound empathy and insight into various aspects of the violation of human rights. Uh, for instance, the unborn, the, the, the agony of the unborn girl, child, for that matter. And the dowry death, for that matter, euthanasia, uh, uh, then uh, the rights of this of surrogacy and definitely the the right to have uh, the woman's right to have a womb of one's own. Uh, all of us have uh, for for us it has been an immensely immensely great learning experience and each one of us have so many things to take back with us from this lecture. We are grateful to you, ma'am. 
also for the suggestions, for the valuable suggestions that you have uh, given us for the improvement of our program schedule for the year-long activities. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request uh, Madam, uh, our principal ma'am, uh, Professor Krishna Rai, to uh, inaugurate the online Human Rights Bulletin of the Human Rights Cell, which is titled Jagriti or Awakening. Uh, ma'am, with your permission, ma'am, if you would kindly announce the inauguration of the online bulletin, Jagriti. Then uh, uh, the name is beautiful. I don't know who has named it, but this is appropriate. I don't know any other appropriate name apart from Jagriti. Hello, Nam. Even Amla Jan is Jagi Thaki. Jagriti Name Jatha Jugo Morjada Janamla Rakti Pari. Avunjita Amla Shurupuri too. Shurupuri. That's why I'm going to talk to you. Thank you. Ma'am, uh, I would now request uh, Shoturupadi to uh, share, to kind of present the online journal, online bulletin. Yangana, is my screen shared? Yes, Shoturupadi, it's visible. This is the first edition of first issue of the Human Rights Bulletin Jagriti. And for the first edition, contributions were sought from the departments of Botany, Bengali, Computer Science, and English. And the students have contributed uh, reflective articles, essays. Some of them are philosophical in nature. They have also taken into consideration many legal issues and human rights violations that are happening across the world at this point. Posters, photographs. Freedom is not a privilege, it is a right. Beautiful poster prepared by Rima Pindu of the Department of Computer Science. Now the girls have focused on various aspects of human rights, like uh, the workers' rights women's rights, rights to sexual freedom, choice of sexual identity, the rights of children. This is again another poster.
So it's another colorful, colorful poster. Today's human rights violations are the causes of tomorrow's conflicts. This particular article by Momuta uh, focuses on child's rights, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Momita Haldar from the Department of Botany. message is loud and clear. Stop discrimination in every way. This essay by Sanjana Podda is also very interesting, uh, gives a very interesting insight into how technologies have interfered with human rights. She's a student of the Department of Computer Science. This is a collage of photographs, which has been contributed by one of our students, Atre Bos, Department of English, which focuses on the theme of a drowned toy and a lost childhood. This is an, an article specifically focusing on the rights of married women, matrimonial rights. Another very interesting question, students. Mm, 
নিলাগে না মে আই সি সামথিং মানে আই মিন মানে এটা তো বোঝাই যাচ্ছে তাও আই থিঙ্ক উই শুড মেনশন দ্যাট দিস বুলেটিন উইল বি ডিসপ্লেড অন आवर ওয়েবসাইট ফর দ্য নেক্সট 2 months আই থিঙ্ক না यस यस ফর ইট উইল বি ফিনিশড अगेन বাই অ্যানাদার ফোর ডিপার্টমেন্টস yes yes so four departments had been uh, uh, i mean had been selected for the first uh, for the first issue of this bulletin and or uh, and four other departments will be selected for the next issues and that is how it will continue yes and after inauguration of this bulletin today it will be available for viewing in our college website another very important aspect of this bulletin of this online bulletin is uh, a section devoted to bio notes on important human rights activists and our girls have uh, presented they have written about various human rights activists beginning with the chilean activist michelle bachelet then the indian uh, activist prati bharti then of course there are articles on medha patkar Sampath Lal Devi, the one that you can see right now, interesting perceptions. Menaka Guru Swami and her role in the decriminalization of Section 377 of IPC. That is also another interesting article that uh, has been included in this online bulletin. i can suggest at least five hard copies must be preserved okay and uh, malala yusufzai the youngest nobel prize laureate of course and nadia murad yeah. the iraqi yazidi activist nadia murad in fact there are two entries on nadia murad we have received two entries from nadia murad for this bulletin thank you shatrupati may i now request uh, the convener of human rights cell dr anushwa dotto to deliver the vote of thanks now the term human rights is actually a weighty moral claim on any coercively imposed institutional order national or international as a result every person should secure access to the objects of their human rights uh, almost all the rights envisaged in the universal declaration of human rights 1948 are enshrined in the indian constitution despite advancement in civilization and frequent pleas by amnesty international human rights violation are taking place in every sector of human life in india as well as throughout the world hence uh, the human rights cell bethun college is expressing wholehearted gratitude to our principal madam dr professor krishna roy for graciously giving her valuable time to inaugurate the human rights cell of our college and help all of us to understand our ultimate moral concern that is moral duty of every individual to respect human rights irrespective of their caste culture religion and local tradition over and above all human have equal status she also made us conscious of the fact that fulfillment of human rights should follow the path of an egalitarian society where every person is entitled to equal rights receive equal treatment and opportunities 
through the inauguration of the online bulletin board, she has also encouraged the students to become aware not only of the importance and upholding the values of human rights and not get involved in, in, into any violation of it, but to respect each other's right through their activities. We are immensely thankful to the IQAC coordinator, Dr. Kamul Kanti Shom, and our TCS, Dr. Omita Kaur, for their cooperation. We are thanking Dr. Shoturupa Bandupadhyay for making the program feasible by providing technological support, especially in the present pandemic situation. Human Rights Cell Bethune College is also thanking website committee convener, Dr. Shashuti Laha for her full cooperation without which students' awareness as expressed through their creations on the online bulletin board would not have been possible. We are especially appreciating our students, those who have contributed beautiful posters, paragraph writings on varied aspects of human rights, thus enriching the Wajput. I'm also thankful to Dr. Nilanjana Basu for her well thought out anchoring. I am thanking Srimuthi Shuparna Shengupto, one of the conveners of the Human Rights Cell for conveying the purpose of Human Rights Cell of the Bethune College, as well as its forthcoming activities. I am forwarding my thanks to co-conveners, Human Rights Cell, Dr. Shudeshna Mitro and Dr. Shongjukta Roy for providing all the useful suggestions and ideas. Our colleague Srimoti Titi Mukherjee has shown her creative acumen through flyer design. I am especially thankful to Srimoti uh, Nibhita Chakraborty and my student from the Department of History, Abuntika Shaha of semester two for putting their best efforts in the designing of the online watchboard. I'm also thankful to Srimoti Shashuti Roy, Srimoti Dipanita Borua and Srimoti Debanjana Basu, colleagues and members of the Human Rights Cell for their backroom support. And we are also immensely thankful to Dr. Chandok Chakraborty from the Department of Bengali for helping us to find out a name for the online bulletin. On the behalf of Human Rights Sale, I am thankful to all the participants without whom the inauguration program would not be a success. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Anushwadi. With this, we come to the close of today's session. Thank, thanks to everyone, sincere thanks to everyone for joining us on this session.